Hey everyone, welcome to Navy Metal. Today, we're going to be fooling with some 40 cal, but not just any 40 cal. My friend, Kentucky Patriot, left me a handful of these here to do some shooting with. This is that R.I.P. ammo. Let me just take a good close look at that stuff. That is just wicked. Uh, wicked, wicked. But uh, what I'd like to do is see how much of this we can actually catch. I've got, what, five? Yeah, five water jugs sitting out there. And what I'd like to do is see if I can give you a good center shot with this thing and see just how many of these petals do actually break away. Hopefully we can catch them all or at least catch some of them. So we can see what this round does. Uh, I've never folded this round that much. Don't know much about it. But I think it's right here. It'll be a really cool test. So let's get set up. And get a little closer. So we can get a nice good center shot. Uh, we're using our Rock Island 1911. Which is set up for 10 millimeter, But shoots 40 cal just fine. So got a good gun. Got a good bullet. We should be able to hit this thing. Let's do it. All right, guys. Got our RIP round loaded up in here. And uh, I think this is close enough that I should be able to hit that without getting uh, splattered too bad. Down here where I can get a really, really straight shot on this. We are clear. All right, I think we got us a good shot. Let's run up there and see if we can find any of these bullet fragments. All right, guys, we had five. Of course, that first jug just, uh, it really bit the dust pretty bad. Let's see if we see anything in there. No, I don't see a fragment or nothing in there, but if you look, you can see all the little pieces slots and cuts in that thing so yeah that bullet did hit that first water jug and go all to crap so let's go up here on the board and there's our second jug sitting there bleeding but did we catch anything in it yes we did you can see there's some fragments right down there in that corner. But before we go pouring that out, I'm going to look at this jug number three right here. Because I see a cut right there. Not sure if it cuts all the way through or not. Yes, it is. We've got an air bubble through there. It's pretty dirty on the bottom of that jug. We're going to pour that one out too. Look here. Jug number five is clean. And jug number four is clean. So it actually made it into some chunk, made it into that third jug right there. Looks rounded like it may have been the main part of the bullet. This is our first jug here. Well, jug number two first one they've actually seen anything in So out of that jug, we caught the center core, and I got one petal. You got a really close up look at that. 
There's one pedal in that center core. Pretty neat catching that. When that thing hit, it must have really went crazy. Because that junk's got a ton of cuts in it. Trying to look here on the barrel and see if I see anything. And I do not. I don't know if we'll have anything in this one or not. But we're going to check it. No guys, we got nothing in that one. But like I say, we can plainly see where it did hit there and actually put a cut in it. But that sliver must have gone away or poured the water out so fast that we just didn't catch it. And well guys, there we have it. That's all we caught. I think I got a good center hit on that. Just the way this stuff fragments and just wham goes everywhere. According to that first water jug, seeing all them cuts and slots all over it. Uh, like I say, I was able to catch one. And we caught that center core, which I thought was pretty cool. And that's all we caught. Everything else escaped. But it did do some damage to that third jug. So that's really impressive round. That stuff is just wicked. Well, everyone, appreciate you watching the video. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a fun one for me to shoot. Uh, if you would, thumb me down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. And if you would, please, go down there in the comments thanking Stephen for getting us that ammo. And if you would, go over there and check him out. It is Kentucky Patriot. Throw him a like and subscribe. I'm sure you'll appreciate what he's done and like his stuff. Again, thanks to everyone. Until the next one, I hope that y'all have a fantastic day.